I told you. We got it. We got it. We're here. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say welcome to everybody that may hear this uh, recording. Welcome to the spotlights on you. And this is Dr. Patricia Rogers. And we have a guest in the house today. But before we get to him, I'm going to go ahead and read my bio and who who and what Unity in Service does to serve people. I'm a best-selling author, international best-selling author, international two-time public speaker. I am a virtual event host. I love hosting virtual events. And our team sets a platform for entrepreneurs like you to speak and promote your products and your services at the quarterly events that we host. Virtual, virtual, virtual. You never have to leave home. Our attendees, what you receive when you attend our events, you get new connections. You receive emails to build your email list. And all of our attendees are offered an opportunity to promote their products and services as well. Unity and Service also provides entrepreneurs with titles. For the Honorary Doctorate of Humanity Award affords you the opportunity to wear the title doctor added to your name. How is that and why? Because it's for services that you have already done, your life experiences you've already done. So why not be awarded for it? For a few documents, submit a few documents and of course a fee, which part of it goes to the Alphabet University and we could get you going and get that title because titles raise your level of authority. And I am an affiliate with Theophany University in Haiti. And I am definitely, I have already provided many, many entrepreneurs with that title because they've earned it. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce our guest for today, who is none other than Carl Powell. His personal website is scrolling on the screen. His email is there. His business website is there. His contact information is there. So (laughs) ladies and gentlemen, join us in this upcoming interview as we delve into who in the world is Carl Powell? (laughs) And what is Carl Powell up to these days? And thank you so much for coming to our last event that we had last week. I'm just so glad that we made this connection because ladies and gentlemen, people, people, people need people. And hosting events have connected me to such wonderful and marvelous people just like yourself. And again, I'm honored, I'm honored to have you on the (laughs) platform today. So with that, I'm gonna play your bio. Carl Powell has more than 40 years of training, motivating and entertaining people worldwide, mindfully moving them to become more physically fit for life. Carl teaches his mindful, movement method program which includes Kigan, Pilates, yoga, strength training and meditation online and in the Healing Garden studio. He is also a featured instructor for the Silver and Fit program. As a personal trainer, he has extensive experience evaluating each individual to determine their fitness level and goals. He does not subscribe to the one-size-fits-all mindset. Carl develops a unique exercise program for each individual client. I introduce you to Carl Powell. Oh, it was nice meeting you again at the weekend uh, event last weekend, so I want to know a little bit more about you. Okay. I read so, about uh, your healing, you know, laughter mm-hmm. and all of those good things. I want to know, tell everybody who you are, what you do, and I want to know how did you get started on your entrepreneurial journey? Just give us a little history. So we'll start with who I am today. Who I am today, my name is Carl Powell. I was born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in a very small farm town where I never got possibility training. I didn't know what was possible for me, and I didn't know what I could possibly do in the world to grow and to help the world be a better place. At about 20, I discovered aerobics. 
Anaerobics was really hot. It was new. Jane Fonda had a thing. I started taking classes. Within six months, I loved moving and teaching so much. I said, okay, I'm going to learn how to teach aerobics. That was in 1980. That's how long ago that was. <laughs> wow. And, I, and I've been teaching ever since. So I learned first that for me, teaching was about getting people to move and being entertaining. So I thought, oh, this is great. God gave me this gift. I'm real funny and I'm entertaining and people like me and they like to move with me. And that's great. And I did that for about 10 years. And as I started to get more into my craft, I started to realize that, oh, no, 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 no. The universe had so much more in store for Carl and what he was supposed to be doing. And that's how I found my body work. So through my fitness career, I got to know people. I've traveled the whole world. I uh, started in San Francisco in 1981, 82 traveling. I've seen all of Europe, all of Scandinavia, wow. uh, England, Scotland, Wales, Japan, China, uh, you name it, I've been there. Taiwan, Australia, all working and doing what I loved, which was the most beautiful part of it all. So awesome. I think at about 45, I'm not gonna tell my age, but about 45, I was tired <laughs> of, <laughs> always being on the road, it was rough. So I spent about 10 years just traveling full time from country to country, sharing my love, sharing the dances that I did and talking about how do you find personal happiness? And I wow. called it 21 Steps to Magnificent Living. I did that lecture for years. And eventually I wrote 21 Steps to Magnificent Living into a book. And that started propelling oh, that me into a different, different direction. I joined Toastmasters. I started speaking. I won second place in the state competition in Hawaii four years ago in the speaking competition. And then it really made me think, OK, I've culminated all of these gifts that the universe has given me. Now, how do I take all that I know today about being a little black boy in Pittsburgh, about traveling the world, about entertaining people on stage and bring that into something that I could share and make the world a better place. Awesome, 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 mm -hmm. awesome. So I see you said something about, uh, in your bio it says about your program, uh, the Healing Garden Studio. I saw that word mm -hmm. studio. So it led me to believe that you have a physical plant where you actually meet clients in person. Am I correct? You are correct. So I live on the island of Maui. I live, I live on the island of Maui, uh, don't hate me. And on because <laughs> it's such a beautiful place the most beautiful place in the world we're going to get dr fat here because we're going to do something I'm here i'm coming i'm coming to oh, Hawaii. Oh, oh, we're doing something here but um i have a little studio within a garden so i have a healing garden that i built with lights and plants and I, that all happened during the pandemic that was my pandemic new person to become i had never had a plant in my life and always had a yoga business and then the pandemic happened. So the first thing I had to do was I had to heal. So the plants started to help me heal. I started getting one plant, then two plants, then three plants. And then the, all the plants, they started to become a garden. And then I started to realize, ah, whatever you put your focus on grows. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have to yeah. agree with you 100%. And, and, and that's something that we all have to figure out as we yeah. go. We discover people can say it all the time, you know, what you what you what you uh, think about expands. But the reality of it is it comes alive when you realize it for yourself and when you actually have the experience. And that, that is so awesome. And self-healing is definitely, you know, I know that I believe I, I call mine faith. You know, because I know sometimes I'm in bad way when it comes to feeling a certain way. And I trust my higher power who I choose to call God. And to, then it goes back to faith. It's all about what we believe. Do you agree? I absolutely agree. And I like how you chose to speak about the higher power. In my world, I call, I call the higher power God. Because yeah. that's how it's operated in my life. But I never try to lead people because you don't need to have that same faith or belief that I have to be happy. So I'm always very, very clear on this is how life has given it to me. Life has given it to me in the name of God. And so I'm going right. to speak about it in the name of God. But if I'm speaking to you, I'm going to say universe just so right. that I don't 
you know, pull people. I'm not trying and, to pull and, you. And, and what I like about that, what you're saying, what I like about what you're saying is the fact that I want to make this clear. What you, I want to tap into what you just said. Like you said, we can call whatever we choose to call that resource that keeps us, strengthen us, that guides us, that educates us. Whatever we decide to call it, I tell you one thing. I want everybody to know this. It has to be a power greater than you. Oh, yeah. That you believe in. Because it could be a doorknob, you know. <laughs> but as long as you believe and have faith, it could be a shoe. Whatever mm -hmm. you choose to believe in, as long as you know that what you believe in has a greater power than yourself. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, because when you, and then when you can connect with faith, it changes the whole game. Changes. I have faith that when you start your sentences with the way that I found Dr. Pat, and I, I don't hope you don't, I don't mind that I call you Patricia Pat, it just kind of works for me. Oh, good. <laughs> but the way I found you was I was on LinkedIn, just browsing, and I saw this sister that was doing something. And I said, pause, because it was something positive. And I said, this sister's doing something positive. Let me see what she's doing. And I'm telling you right now, if you are an entrepreneur, if you want to grow, check out people who are growing yeah uh, that's that's the only way you're you're ever going to grow i checked out the sister that was on the on the move and i said now she's doing something i didn't know how much you were doing but i said she's doing something so i'm going to investigate this so i went right on put my 50 dollars down and said okay i want to try to do a podcast because i want to know who you are because i know awesome. i knew that i had something to learn from you awesome. and so i said this is what growth is growth is about knowing what you have and then figuring out what you need to propel and get stronger to be better that's what beautiful. is going to nurture you what is going to feed you and i knew that that's you beautiful. i knew that you were going to feed me one way or another so i said well i'm going to take I like, and what i like what i like about that let me just jump in what i like Please about do. that is that i always say people need people everything we need is in other people and that's what i'm hearing you say when you find it you find and when you have what people want they will find you because that's the way god have it intended he's already connected us before we even knew what we were connected you know so i i'm on point with what you're saying i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it and you're right we have to do our research for people because everybody is not a good fit but yeah. at the end of the day we still if we connect with whomever wherever if it's by divine purpose, I'm like you, we're going to get something from each other. I can agree with that 100%. And I tell people, if, if you just agree with yourself that I'm going to get 1% better every day, in 100 days, you'd be 100% better, wouldn't you? Wow. Woo, 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 woo. 1% <laughs> 1 better. So I'm always looking at what can I do to make myself 1% better today? That's it might awesome. be... It might be exercise. Now, exercise is a wonderful thing. You want to take care of yourself because when you feel good, you look good, you smell good, you're fresh to the whole world, you float, you float, period. When you're inside of your body and you know where your hands are in space and how to move and how to flow, you feel better. So exercise is great. But then I learned about breath work and the importance of just taking a breath. We're always <laughs> panting to get forward, but sometimes we just need to roll back take a breath so is that part of the sessions that you do has to do with uh you know meditation i'm sure i'm sure yeah. i hope meditation i know um as well as you said something about finding happiness so basically you meet with people one-on-one -on -one and what is that process like okay let's say for example we're meeting today and you're gonna come to me and you want advice from carl I'd first ask you, what is your physical activity like? What are you doing for yourself at this moment? Then I would ask you, what do you enjoy doing? Then I would ask you, where are you trying to reach in your life? Are you trying to be happier, healthier, more, har more, more harmonious? Which, what are you looking for? And then through our conversation, I design a program that's going to work. Okay, Maybe, right. So, for example, if we're going to start our program today with you, I would start with some breath work and grounding. And through the breath work and grounding, I can kind of feel what you need. And then I would awesome. give you a few exercises, maybe a few Qigong exercises, just to see how your body flows and moves. Awesome. How, connected, how connected are you with yourself? Some people are completely disconnected and some people are already connected. So then I figure out all of the things that I can give you 
to propel you into greater growth. My, awesome. my objective in every session is I ask you, what is your stress anxiety level when you walk in the room, giving it a number zero to 10, maybe it's seven when you come in. And my goal is by the time you leave me, you're down to a two or three. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. You explained it very well. Come on. Welcome come on, back. Come on. Here we go. Welcome We're back. back. <laughs> so what projects are you working on right now, Carl? Let the audience know your achievements. So I'm going to tell you what I'm learning because that's all my projects are always based on what I'm learning. Uh, in April, my mother passed away. November, the year before my brother passed away. And it was a life changing event for me because those were the people who were my constants. My mother and brother, they were my biggest critics and my biggest fans at the same time. So when they left this earth, I realized, OK, the only way I'm going to stay connected with them is to continue to tell stories about them and to continue to keep them part of my story and do anything that I could do to make them proud. So my first book that I wrote uh, is called Seven Seeds to Happiness. The Seven Seeds of Happiness. And what the Seven Seeds of Happiness is about, it's about a little boy who was looking for happiness. He finds an envelope with seven seeds. The seven seeds are love, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, honesty, gratitude, love. He finds this envelope and the envelope says, plant these seeds one every day and watch happiness grow because that's what happiness does. It grows. So this is a simple story about a little boy. He plants the seeds and the lessons he learns along the way as he plants the seeds. So I wrote that book, was really, really happy with it. I love all the colors and pictures. And I had an illustrator. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move back up. Uh, back on the shirt. Yeah, but it's a really wonderful book. It's a very simple story and it's for people of all ages because it's so important wow. to know that whatever you grow in your garden shows up in your life. So awesome. plant love. Where, Go ahead. Where can they get it from? The book Amazon? is available. The book is available on Amazon. It's available awesome. on Audible, ebook, and a paperback. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's so awesome. And all we have to do in Amazon is put in your name because I didn't put your link in here. I didn't have it yet. So we can just put your name in Amazon. Carl Powell, and it's and gonna your books are gonna pop up. My books will pop up. Absolutely. And that's great. It's nothing like having your own book because your name get to come up. And that's exactly yeah. why I wrote my own book. Yeah. Tap Happiness. Go ahead. Tap Happy is the book that is my flagship book. And it's about the work that I'm doing right now, and it's about the art of emotional freedom. We have a lot of tension, fear, doubt all locked into ourselves. As people of color, we have so much PTSD from what happened even before we were born. We have all of this piled onto us and we never really deal with it just by having conversations. We deal with it in anger, in fear, in aggression. And I want to stop that cycle. I want to teach people that when you figure out how to be happy, you won't spend so many days in dismay. Tapping EFT is simply tapping parts of your body and repeating affirmations to yourself. Although I may have a, although I may have a limited mindset today, I choose to grow above what I think and feel what I feel. And you just comp you continue to tap and you continue to give people affirmations. So if you came to me today and you said, I want to harvest happiness, I want to take happiness home with me when I leave, then we would just start tapping in happy thoughts. Awesome. Happiness is all around me. I can find happiness whenever I, I believe in happiness because I know this to be true because, and we go through awesome. affirmations and then each time we go through the cycle of affir affirmations and the points that we tap, your your anxiety level comes down just a little bit. Some people come down a lot the first time. And sometimes we have to go through the whole cycle of what we need to do to breathe happiness into our heart. This is where awesome. I always start. 
what is the name of the sec the first book that you mentioned you said the second one i know is tap happiness because i want people to be able to find it and the i want seven, to write the name the seven seeds of happiness seeds okay seeds. Of happiness. this is awesome i love it i love it i love it the, re the reason why i love seeds because seeds don't fear the light or the dark seeds strategically figure out how to use the light and the dark to grow you put the seed in the earth it's in the dark then it needs light and it starts to grow but the whole time it's growing the roots are still in the dark so i always tell people you don't have to fear the dark you don't have to fear the light grab them harvest them make them your own and get them to help you in your growth process awesome 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 well this has certainly been a great um opportunity for me to learn more about you because i know at the event you don't get all of that you know to get it yeah. really get deep unless you're speaking and even sometimes speakers don't get deep but this has been really been a nice personal uh interaction with you and giving me a great opportunity to learn more about you and that's and, and that's I'm and that's and that's the reason why i i I put this interview together for myself today because I only wanted to meet you. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, well, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, because I can't. I, I certainly am out there. That's for sure. I'm on social media. I'm all over. You are. I you're out there. Yeah, because there are 4.5 billion billion people on some platform on social media platforms, and there's 15 different platforms. So I try to cover as many ter much territory as I can. I'm not on all 15, but I do my best. But I love LinkedIn. And that's where you and I met, and I'm so grateful that we did. And I put so, your books I'm, up here. I'm so grateful for you because you don't even know how much you've affected the people in your community. I watched your uh, conference on Saturday, and I watched how much joy you brought to them and how much they loved what you were bringing them. And you have done something really awesome, something really wonderful. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing something wonderful. And I want to just... Attach myself to you because you're not getting rid of me. I'm just attaching myself. To, I'm coming with you. That's right. Wherever you're, wherever you're going, I'm coming with you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly what we need. People need people. We need each other. And yeah. we need because we like we right here. We talked about yeah. the mind. We're on the yeah. same page, you know, and that those are the people you want to connect with. So we can move together uh, yeah. so that we both can reach our goal. All of us, yeah. you know, yeah. so I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity today to connect with you. Thanks, Susie, for, you know, I guess that connection you saw, I was connected, I saw you was connected to Susie, and, you know, it just, it's amazing how it works. Susie, yeah, it approved. Mm. it's just amazing how it all works. And so I'm grateful for this opportunity. And with that, I would love for you to give some, uh, maybe an affirmation. I know you talked about the two books. Ladies and gentlemen, please go to Amazon, and all you have to do is put in Carl Powell. His two books will pop up, and I know for a fact we all can use some happiness because the way this world is moving as fast as it's moving oh my god we get lost in the shuffle we get frustrated we sometimes people quit but for me ladies and gentlemen for Carl I think I can speak for him too quitting is never ever never an option, an option. Never. and you cannot have sacrifice you cannot have uh you can't have you can't have success yes, yeah. without sacrifice. It comes as a package deal. So what we have to do is go through the challenges, keep moving. As long as we moving, we're going to reach our destination. Sometimes it's a little bit slower than other times, but whatever you do, don't quit. <laughs> Would you like to give an affirmation on our closing? Oh, I absolutely have one. Happiness is not a destination, but a journey of continuous growth. By cultivating a growth mindset, we sow the seeds of happiness and watch them bloom along our path. Keep blooming, keep planting, keep growing until we meet again. Namaste. Awesome. Thank you again for joining us. God oh, bless absolutely you. Wonderful. <laughs>
Hi, Kathy Murray with Fit Bodies and the co-author of the Munich Cowboys Cheerleaders book on Audible. And I'm here today to talk about my favorite topic and it's happiness and to promote my best friend Carl Powell's books on happiness. The first one is The Seven Seeds of Happiness and the second one is Tap Happy. Both are available on Amazon and on Audible. So go get your copies today. Everyone could use a little bit of happiness in their lives. So go out and get his books today. Have a great day. Bye.